Oh boy, look at that. It's, uh, it's lovely. Look at this. You can see how fast you're going. You can see your oil pressure, your battery level, your temperature, your fuel. But wait a minute. There's, there's some down here. Where, where, where's, where's the tack? Uh... Oh boy, look. I found something at the junkyard. So this run here is um, the highest model gauge. If you notice, it's got everything. Speed out, oil pressure, battery, temperature, fuel gauge is now there, and shabam wham, a tachometer. And it comes with this little doodad here, which has got all those lights that you probably never look at anyway, like the seatbelt and part-time and stuff. So if we take a look at the back of the unit, oh look, what's on this bullshit? Copper. These are all your light bulbs in your gauge cluster. Right there, that's where your speedometer cable goes. I have the click type, where it's got a little thinger dinger on there, so hopefully this is the right one. You got two connectors, one for all your gauges and lights, and the other one over here for your other reminder lights. Six screws to unscrew this thing. One, two, three, four, five five and six so they're all behind there so you got to take this black panel off which you'll notice a oh, one screw a two screw um i think three and four or something kind of like that and then this whole gadonk donk comes off and we can look at things so let's get out our phillips heads oh boy a plus we all have bullshit so this is what it looks like behind there. I had to pull my radio because it was getting caught. Lovely uh, stuff going on there, yeah. Very nice and uh, modular now. Look at that shit. You can just kind of pop everything out and do whatever the fuck you want now. That's a really nice uh, wiring job right there, yeah. Let's just go right in front of everything. All right, so like I see it. Unstai. Try, quai, fi, and chai. That wasn't a language. Holy fuck that thing. Jesus Christ. Okay. That was a fucking pain in the ass. Okay, on the back, we have this connector right here, which is overexposed as fuck. This one does your lights, sits about there. This one does your gauges and all that shit, sits about here. And then you have your speedometer cable. Shit's about there. This thing's got a clip. You squeeze the clip and then hope it wiggles out. At least that's what my version looks like. So make sure to check whether yours is a clip or not clip or something else. Um, these things, to get them out, you fucking push down on the little tabs and pull out. It's a little more difficult than it looks. Uh, in order to get this thing to come out at all, I had to disconnect the speedometer from the transfer case so that this is free, because otherwise you're not getting your hands in there anywhere. So good luck with that shit. So, uh, this is the part where you put the new one in. Yeah. Uh. Now, things, important things. Since my old unit already had the gauges there's three different types of gauges you can get the base model is uh full of dummy lights so you don't have temperature you don't have oil and you don't have battery instead they're lights that come on kind of like this low fuel light that's the only dummy light i got but that's with a fuel gauge so if you don't have this you'll have to get a new sender if you don't have that you'll have to get um, a new oil pressure sender. But uh, if you already have that crap and you're just going from medium to full, pretty sure it's just plug and play. At least that's what the internet told me. Yeah, to do. So I'm going to plug it in and see what the fuck happens. I'm not going to screw it all down and then find out half the lights don't work and the gauges don't work and that I have, you know, twice the amount of tank that I should. It'll be interesting. So... Here's the new gauge, just plugged in, didn't do the speedometer just yet. So, first thing is first, close this, shut off that, shut off that. Okay, 
we have lights. Seems pretty consistent. Weird that the clock comes up purple on the phone when it's green. Spooky. Okay, so the lights work. That's good. All right. Turn that on. And temperature looks good. Fuel gauge actually works. That's good. Battery level decent. That good. All right. And one more thing, engine RPM. Cool, look at that shit. Battery good, oil good. Feels good. I wonder if the light works or not. Oh yes, look at that. Attack. Cool. I like that, like that a lot. Very good, very good. Okay. Alrighty, here we are indoors. Couple things apart. You have uh, this plastic pane comes off, four screws all around the side, that comes out. This gray divider comes out. There is one screw located there, and there are two in the back, as you can see. And this is the whole speedometer unit right here. It's its entire enclosed thing right there. It's got both the wheels and all the cool doodatteries that you could ever imagine. So, uh, it's very interesting. Stuff does things, and they control other things. If you notice there, there's a worm gear that connects directly to the speedometer, so when the speedometer spins, it spins this piece and that piece, and that controls a lot. Reset meter right here, a little spring action. If you look at the bottom, those little gears let off, and they all spring back to wherever they belong. So that's pretty neat. You can see the spring right there. That all holds tension until you let go. That little spring, it would focus. And the odometer, the fun part. So, uh, pretty simple. I'm reading uh, something online. You just pop this thing out, change it to the number you need, and put it back in. I'm going to set it to what I have now, which is 165,575. And zero. So that way I have an accurate tack. Wouldn't want to sell something that uh, is claiming to have 50,000 less miles than it does. If I ever do sell it, probably not. All right, do that time. All right, if you notice that little C-clip has to come out of right here. It'll sit right there. So now that that C-clip is out, this entire assembly can move to the right. I want you to fuck around with that little finger dinger. It's got to be moved just right, and it's hard to do one-handed. But, um, here. Flathead screwdriver should be able to get that thing out of there. So now that that is disengaged, maybe... Yeah, now, now you can move the numbers to your will. Kind of. If you can get them to move just right. And adjust them. So, good luck with that. Calibrated and ready to go. Let's put this fucking thing in there. Yeah. Alright, everything's screwed in. Cluster's in place. Can't find the clip. There's one clip. The other one fell somewhere. I don't fucking know. So then the plastic goes on, the radio goes in, and it's good to go. Alrighty, so uh, final diggly daggly do. Everything seems to work. The backlighting is actually brighter, so I guess the bulbs are a little newer or whatever. Uh, everything seems to function correctly. I really like looking at that tack. All the lights over here seem to do pretty well. And uh, here's night test. Obviously it's not gonna look great, 
especially on a cell phone. But um, compared to everything else, I don't know why that clock looks so purple. It must be putting off infrared light. That is a green clock in front of my face. It's really weird. But um, compared to how bright everything else is, it's, it's pretty decent. I don't know. I like it. It's it's nice. I get to see shit now. Well, good luck with your modifying, fellows.